the car. Get on the car. Get on the car. Despite the fact that the majority of police stops are short and uncomplicated, there are instances in which they take an unexpected turn for the worst and reveal disturbing realities. Here are six instances in which the police make one in ten million discoveries. Starting with the cops who pulled over Leon's Subaru Legacy in the 500 block of East Cash Street because the windows were tinted. Can you lower the back window for me? Thank you. Can you lower that passenger side window for my partner? The reason why I pulled you over is for uh, your registration. So you got your license and insurance on you. Hey, what? How much weed you got in the car today, dude? Uh, none. None? No. You sure? Why do I smell it then? In this stage of the investigation, the cops gained Leon's permission to search his car and found a loaded gun on the floorboard of the passenger compartment. As a result, the cops arrested Leon. What are you doing? Hang on. There he said a rabbit shack. What am I doing with? There's a gun inside the car, dude. Oh, that's not my gun. Following this, the cops placed the suspect into their car. Turn the heat on, please. Can you hold on? Yeah, here. Okay. Can you turn the heat on, please? Could you guys turn the heat on, please? What's up? Could you turn the heat on, please? Turn the heat on? Yeah, please. Yeah, give me one second. To sum it up, Leon is accused of the following charges, aggravated illegal use of a weapon, illegal possession of ammunition, and illegal possession of a weapon by a felon and lack of discretion. His bail was set at $75,000. Despite his best efforts to seem strong, he was ultimately taken into custody. On the other hand, this next individual will growl at the cops. It all began when a cop saw a man who was parked in the middle of the road. While the cop was speaking to the driver, he noticed a beer can with the smell of alcohol emanating from the car. As a result, the cop looked up the man's name and discovered that the suspect was in possession of many outstanding citations in New Mexico. Can I get a second for a 47 investigation? Hey, how you doing, man? Very good. Hey, my name is Sergeant Martinez, Farm to Police. Reason why I stopped you, man, is because you were stopped back there. Oh, yeah. I was out to check it out. I wanted to make sure that my phone was like that. Okay. You found it? My man. All right. Hey, that's the reason why I'm stopping you. You can't stop for long right there, and you can't get out of the core, especially when you're not parked near the curb, you know? Can I see your license registration proof of service, man? Are you going to handle it? I'm sorry, dude. Um, can you can you turn off the car? I can't hear you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Let me see that real quick. Oh yeah, man, this one's expired. Whose car is it? Oh, mine. All right, cool. You got insurance? Yes. Let me see that, that has the registration. My man, yeah, that's what I need. 
Here's that. Um, and then your driver's license. Oh. I don't have a driver's license. Okay. Uh, do you have an ID? Yes, sir. Perfect. How come you don't have a driver's license, man? Um, uh, I'm working out right now. Okay. And I have, um... What do you have? Cool. All right. Hey, can you do me a favor? Step out of the car for me, please. Yeah. All right. Keep your hand out of your pocket. Cool, man. Thanks. Let's just walk to the back. Okay. The cop now checked the man for any weapons. All right, man. So um, the reason why I brought you out is because you don't have a driver's license and stuff. Yeah. All right, so we'll just go ahead and run you. And then is it suspended for any DWI reasons? Uh, I'm just suspended, something like that, just about it. Didn't pay fines or nothing? Yeah. Okay, can you keep your hands out of your pockets? I appreciate it, man. I'm just going to pat you down for weapons. I get that it's cold, so um, just don't reach. Just put, put your hands on the car. I'm not going to handcuff you or nothing, okay? You're good. All right, man. Thanks, I appreciate it. Give us a few minutes, all right? Stay back over here at the back of the car, because I don't want you standing in the roadway. Um, hold on, I'm not gonna handcuff you. Turn around real quick. Yep, thanks. During this time, the cop conducted an investigation into the suspect and examined his eyes. I initiate the traffic stop. I go, at this point, ask me if he's okay. I notice a bottle of Bud Light on the front passenger seat. It's closed, but his eyes are bloodshot and watery. Uh, he's slow and lethargic mm -hmm. when it comes to driving this information. I already admit it's not having a driver's license. He's got a Colorado ID, but the state of New Mexico has revoked his license. It's been revoked. Um, he was hesitant to turn off the car. Left the keys in the ignition. We put stop sticks underneath because it looked like he was going to flee. He didn't know, though. And then we had him step out. Did a terry pad on him because he kept fidgeting with his pockets. And then... As we walked away, he proceeded to walk towards the door, so I took his keys. And okay. ever since I took his keys, he's been super chill. Okay. So, um, I haven't asked him about alcohol or nothing. I was just trying to keep him chill. Okay. So, Wait, two, seven, one, two, 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 Or no, just a suspended boat? Okay. Sounds good. All right. What's his first name? Orlando. Orlando. All right, Orlando, I'm officer. Good luck. Okay, We're just going to be running you through some tests today, okay? Just to see if oh, you're no, impaired. Um, do you have any medical conditions? No? Do you have any problems with your eyes? Are you wearing contacts right now? Oh, yes, I do. You're wearing contacts? Okay. Do you have any problems standing, walking, balancing properly? Uh, I broke my ankle a few weeks ago and stuff like that. You broke your ankle a few weeks ago? Okay. Um, but you, have you been walking on it fine, though? Okay. What do you what do you do for work? Uh, I'm a heavy foot operator. Okay. And have you been to work recently? I have, but um, like I said, I'm an operator, so I have to sit down stuff that here and there. Okay. Okay. Um, so I was gonna be checking for your impairment today, like I was saying. What's your highest level education? Uh, I've been to up to thirteen. Uh, grade 13, you said? Uh, high school graduation and 13, that would add up to okay. a year. So you won't have any problem listening to simple instructions? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, sir. Well, just go ahead and just come stand over here. Stand right there. I'm going to put your feet together like this, heel to heel, toe to toe. Put your arms down at your side. Don't move from this position or start unless I tell you to do so. Do you understand? All right. You checking your eyes today? All right. So I want you to focus on the tip of my finger. You see the tip of my finger? Yeah. Follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. 
Do you understand? Do you understand the tester? Yes. Now, the cop instructed the suspect to do field sobriety tests so that he could evaluate the level of drunkenness that the suspect was having. Next thing I want you to do, uh, go ahead and stand right here, sir. So how much have you had to drink today, sir? Nothing? Go ahead and face my direction. When's the last time you drank? You had nothing to drink today? Okay. All right, what I want you to do with this test, I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot. Like this. Okay, put your arms down at your side. Get into this position now. Right foot in front of your left foot. Heel to toe. Okay. Now put your arms down at your side. Don't move from this position or start unless I tell you to do so. Do you understand? When I tell you to start, you're going to take a series of nine heel to toe steps on a straight line. Turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back. While you're doing this, you're going to be counting out loud, looking down at your feet. Leave your arms down at your side. Each step needs to be heel to toe. Once you start the test, don't stop until you've completed it. I'm going to demonstrate this for you now. It will look like this. One, two, three, and so on and so forth until your ninth step. Once you're on your ninth step, keep your front foot planted with the other foot. Take a series of small steps. Turn yourself around. Back on line. Nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three. All right, so just going back over that again. Looking down at your feet the whole time. Counting out loud each step. Leave your arms down at your side. Each step needs to be heel to toe. Once you start the test, don't stop until you've completed it. Do you understand? Show sure it again. Demonstrate it again? Okay. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three, so on and so forth until your ninth step. Once you're on your ninth step, keep your front foot planted with the other foot, take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Back on line, nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three. Do you understand now? Yes. So right now. Don't start yet. One. What do you mean? I'd ask you to start. Have you, do you understand the test? Yes. Okay. Get back into this position. And then if you feel that you understand the test, you may begin. So, so when do I start? If you feel like you're ready to take the test, you can begin. Yes, sir. Complete the test like I instructed. Okay. After the suspect did not pass the field sobriety tests, the cop decided to take him into custody. All right, one more. So for this test, what I want you to do, I want you to stand like this, heel to heel, to heel toe to toe, put your arms down at your side. Don't move from this position or start unless I tell you to do so. You understand that? When I tell you to start, you're going to raise one leg. doesn't matter which leg you choose but your foot needs to be off the ground six inches and needs to be parallel with the ground. While you're doing this, you'll be looking down at your foot that's raised, counting out loud, leave your arms down at your side, and both your legs need to be straight. It needs to look like this. 24, 46, on time, clear, please. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Keep counting until I tell you to stop. Do you understand that? Do you have any, do you have any questions? Okay. Give me a second. Get back into the this position. All right, you can begin. 
Okay. What's that, sir? No, restart. Did you want me to go back over the instructions for you? So you understand the test? Yes, I'm Okay. You can begin now. All right, you can stop. All right, sir. Just go to put your hands behind your back. Yes. Stop. Am I resisting? Stop yeah, resisting. You are. Resisting? Mm -hmm. hey, Come. You're fine, man. Come down. Relax. <laughs> well, I don't want my guys to have to use force on you, and it looks like that's what. You're... See? See? You didn't See? scare me, See? dude. You didn't scare me. Yes, you did. You down to the ground. Oh, Nobody Steve hurt you. Is, you didn't scare anybody. All I'm trying to do is prevent you from getting injured. Okay? Because the one that's going to lose here is you. Now, thank you for being cooperative up until this point. All right, sir. Let's go get into the back of the vehicle. All right, sir, stand right here. We need to do a search on you. Separate your feet. To conclude, records show Smith has been convicted of 17 separate DWI charges in New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. In spite of his efforts to snarl and seem aggressive in front of the cops, he was ultimately taken into custody. On the other hand, this next individual will cause the cops to get quite angry. It all started when the cops saw a vehicle speeding on the highway and veering off course to the point where a tire fell off the vehicle. Furthermore, the cops had to use force to unlock the vehicle and take the suspect into custody. Hold on, don't get too close there. Huh? Move over, move over. Move over more? Yeah, no, don't pull up too You're getting too close. Hey! On your left. Driver! Put your hands out the driver window! We have a sent police canine! We will send him on you and he will bite you! Show us your hands! Driver! Show us your hands or you will be bit by a state police canine! Driver, it's your last warning! Come out now! You will be bit by the dog! It's got a gate on the front. Yeah, it's gonna be blocked. We got somebody come smash your window. You might come. Let's move. Get it with the rifle. Get it with the rifle. Or you will be bit by come the dog. We're going to have a rifle over here. Driver! It's got to be single. Final warning! Fortes, what do you got? Put your hands outside the driver's window or you will be bit by a dog. Window rolled up. You got somebody on the right side. Somebody, somebody just clear right. Take a peek inside for me. Dustin, you got him. I'm right behind you. We're on your left. We're on your left. We're on your left. Open the door! Open the door! Stay right here, right here. Hold up. Hold up. He's on the phone. One he's on, on, he's the, on phone. the phone. He's on, on the phone. phone. One male on the phone. All right, hey, drop down. Crossfire. Crossfire. Yep, drop hey, down. He sees you. He's right there. He's looking at you. Hey! 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 Show your hands! Fucking show your hands! 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 Show your hands! Keep your hands watch, up. Watch. Keep your hands up. Watch him. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Watch him. Look at get out of the car. Look at get out of the car. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Get 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 out.
stop. Yeah, turn the car right now. Turn the car. Hey, clear the back window. Can you see anybody? Yeah, can we see if we can open it? Let's get him up. It's clear. Okay. All right. Do you have any needles or anything on you that's going to poke us? What did she try to pull me over I wasn't the one that tried pulling you over. On my property. Oh, your property? Yeah, on my okay. delivery drive. Okay, you delivering something? Huh? You delivering something? No, not right now. I'm just on my way to it. Okay, people. my partner here is okay. going to read you something, okay? I need you to listen to this. Yeah, just listen to me, okay? Before we ask any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand those rights? Yes. What's okay. your name? Whatever it says on the card right there. You got an ID? There's no. a credit card. Whatever it says right there. Are you from Illinois? Yeah. Jermaine? Or J Jeremy? Jeremy Evans? <laughs> Is that your name? Hey, we're, we're gonna find out who you are, man. We don't wanna, we don't wanna be out here messing with this, okay? You can just tell us who you are. Okay. Do you have a driver's license or ID card through Illinois? Find it up. We will, but I'm asking you. No, you did all of this. Hey, can you, is this mine? Can you make sure yeah, that front seat's clear? No, this is, uh, I've got it right here. Logan's. Okay. Now, the cops started their investigation into the suspect and questioned him in great detail. Is this your ID card? What are you running for, man? I don't know nothing until y'all let me smoke a cigarette. You don't know nothing until we let you smoke a cigarette? Huh? You won't know anything until we let you smoke a cigarette? Yep. Okay. Um, I think we're kind of past that, man. You, you see what you did? You see how many officers are here? If you yeah. all want me to be cooperative, answer questions. You gotta let me smoke one last cigarette. I'm going to jail for a long time anyway. Okay. You got warrants? Huh? You got warrants? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'll just give you my license number. And it's going to be out of Illinois? Yeah. All right. Appreciate that. What's your name? Just so I can call you properly. Huh? Jer Jerome? Jeremy. Jeremy? Y'all want me to answer questions? You got to let me smoke a cigarette. Is it E? You said there's an... Yeah. E. There's an E at the beginning? Yeah. You don't have a valid license? Huh? You don't have a valid driver's license? It's supposed to be valid. It's supposed to be valid? Okay. Is he talking to you? Yeah. Jeremy? Jeremy said he, he he will be more cooperative if I uh, if I let him smoke a cigarette. I said I think we're kind of past that right now. Um, but I, I One just, last cigarette out of my pack. And I'll answer all the questions y'all want me to answer. Well, we can't take bribes, sir. Okay, sure. I guess I'm, I'm basically, I'm just giving you an opportunity to kind of explain yourself because you already said you're going to jail, man. Yeah, I mean, you were driving revoked, okay, and you're committing multiple felonies here, man. Like, I mean, you can't, yeah, I'm not, I'm just kind of curious as to why you were, why you were running. Did you throw anything out of the car back there? Yes or no? Did you throw anything out of the car? Huh? Did you throw anything out of the car? Uh, did you see me throwing anything out of the we car? We saw a bunch of stuff flying from your car. I couldn't tell what it was. Tire rubber, stuff off the paneling from the truck. I mean, I, I don't know what all it was, man. All I know is that I tried to pull you over because you had a stolen vehicle, possession of a stolen vehicle. You drove over the fog line, so I tried to stop you, kind of talk to you, and you decided that uh, you didn't want to stop. I so, wasn't doing the dangerous speed limit. My cruise control was set at 72 miles per hour. Okay, at one point you were over 100 miles per hour in this pursuit, though. You understand that, well, right? Well, yeah. When, you, when, you, when, you when I turn my up. lights on and that means that you're supposed to pull over, That yeah. So when you go over 100, especially when you're running from me, that's not... I need a hospital. I'm bleeding. You need a hospital? Where are you bleeding at, man? Out of my Okay. the glass that was cut open. Okay. Can I check? You want me to make sure you're bleeding? I'm not taking you to the hospital for no reason. Um, you bleeding. didn't crash. I can, I can feel it. You don't need to. I ask for medical support, and that's what you have to do. Okay, all right. The cops examined the vehicle and engaged in conversation with one another. So you got this lock back here? Yeah. 
Yo, he's back. How much gas you got left? He's about empty. <laughs> well, I think it's about time to head back east. <laughs> Not much to do here now. Oh, the fun's over? Yep. Oh, it almost looked like he'd been living in there. It's well, just random trash gathered throughout. We haven't got inside yet. It looked yet. like there was, uh, like he was losing lots of ice and snow off of the thing. I, and it was, well, it wasn't until like, we'd already been pursuing it for 40 minutes. And so, and he was just dropping it. So, I mean, it looked like math is what it, what it looked like to me. I, I don't, I don't think he's all there. Right. I thought it was just off the car. Well, that would make sense. The suspect made a secret phone call to his father and informed him about what had taken place. Hey, Dad, it's Jeremy. Yeah, what's going, hey, what's going on, Jeremy? It's over with, Dad. It's over with. It's over with. I made it from Ohio. Was cruising through Indiana on my way back to Chicago. They stopped me. It's over with. I'm handcuffed. But I'm hanging myself when I get to jail, Dad. I love you. Thank you for everything that you, you did. Should, you should. You're making it worse than I did. No, Dad. It's, that, it's, it's nothing else you can do. I have no more support. I never wanted to go through this again. I was minding my own business. When I pulled over, they upped the gun on me, and I took off. Don't worry about what's the, you know. You have a right to be frightened. You've been um, mistreated before, and, and you were just frightened. That's okay. We'll talk about it more when you're feeling better. Just don't worry about it, okay? Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm literally shaking right now, Dad. Now you hang in there, because you're my son, so just hang in there. You'll be okay. I just didn't want you to get in trouble again. We'll figure it out, okay, son? Don't but worry about it. I don't have no more support, Dad. You, yeah, you do. We have the other stuff, Dad. Hang in there, and we'll figure it out together, okay? Don't panic. Because you don't have no background. You don't have no issues. They're just trying to force something. You just was frightened. Hang in there. Don't All right, Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you from the jail, okay? I know you will, but you can't go in there being upset. Gather yourself together. I didn't I didn't do anything, Dad. Like, I, I literally have my life on the right track, Dad. It ain't over yet. You've been in worse. You'll be okay. Gather yourself. It's no big deal. You'll be all right. All stay in touch. I'll make sure that can happen. Okay? Okay, Dad. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> After the cops became aware of what the suspect had done, they made adjustments to his handcuffs to ensure that it would not happen again. What? What did I do? You put your handcuffs in front of you, man. I may as well be comfortable before I go to jail. <laughs> you might as well not be comfortable, man. Step out for me. What did I do? Step out of the car. Why? Because your hands are in front of you, and that's not you how I put you in my vehicle. We got leg ties? Yeah, do I need to tie your legs and everything on the way to the jail? I'm not doing anything. I'm yes, you are. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car, okay? For, for what? Because you put your hands in front Where's of Where's the sergeant? The sergeant's right here on my shoulder watching this right now. Sergeant. Me, sir. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting yeah. down. See, our regulations are is that we handcuff people behind their back. So that's why you handcuffed you behind your back. Well, I'm, I'm and, bleeding. And I asked for a hospital. And I'm taking you there right yeah, he's now. He's addressed that with me as well. But right now, we need to step out of the vehicle so he can you. put your handcuffs Until back you're, properly. Yep, step okay. out of the car for me. That's all that is. Where are we from? Are you from the city? Okay, I'll just make the mic with you. I'm not married. So the reason why you ain't coming behind your back is that's what our department calls you. Do you have a leg shit? I do. Do you? Because uh, he already moved his hands from the back to the front. Yeah, wall. I got those, uh, those zip cuffs. Uh, I'm not too comfortable. You going to do that again? I can't hear you. No, no, this is not let's make a deal. I'm asking you a question. Are you going to do that again? Because if you're going, to, we're going to get to the hospital. But if you're going to do that again, I'm just going to have your legs tied up. Uh, all right, we're going to get you there before you go. He slipped his uh, hands up to the ground. Don't grab my phone again either. Who said I grabs our phone? Sit back. I didn't put my phone. <laughs> Who said I grabs our phone? It vibrated and it failed. Stop accusing me. Okay, it's on camera. So. I got, I got, I got, I got.
camera. Right, it's on camera. Okay, all right, we'll watch it later. There's somebody else who's going to go back east with you, right? The suspect began arguing with the cops on a variety of unrelated topics. Hey, you quit reaching around, man. Uh, you search my property, I search your property. I'll just make it Step out of the car. Who put hands on Step out of the car. Why am I being pulled out of the car? Again? Jeremy, you're not riding in my car. Okay. Step out of the car. Hey, hey, door, Bob. Stay right there. I'm gonna stop and shoot for shit. Turn around. What am I turning around? You're gonna turn around so I can uh, adjust your cuffs here. I'm gonna pull your pants up because I don't want your freaking underwear. Gene's Facebook Live, a minute and a half of it. Yeah. So we already had your Facebook. All right. Uh, Corporal Leffert said that they thought yeah, about that. Okay. Um, are you going? Hey, stop moving. What are you doing? I'm going to put yeah, your yeah, hand so out. you stop moving around. Okay? Stop. Turn and face my car, Jeremy. Come on, guys. Jeremy, stop. Stop. Jeremy, stop resisting. Stop it. Oh, what are you doing? Jeremy, stop. You're going to be tased. What are you doing? Stop. I'm pulling your pants up. And then your hand comes. Stop moving around, sir. You, I'm letting you know you are on video. So all this is recorded. Right. What are you doing? And if doing? you keep moving, if what you keep you resisting, doing? I will taste you. What are you doing? Look at me. Look at me. Hear me. Hear me clearly. What? What? If you keep what? resisting, you I will taste you. What are you doing? Why am I? He's adjusting your handcuffs because you kept moving around and messing with stuff in the troop's car. You said keep my hands behind my back, right? No. That's no, what no. I did. Is that your car? So you are aware this camera right here? It is active. It is watching you. That's Anything cool. you do will be recorded on video, okay? That's cool. That's fine. So now you're going to be a <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back. We're going to go to Laporte, Laporte Hospital. Roll the window up. No. Oh, I'm, so okay. We're going to be. You want to be a Do you want to be a County right. Hospital. Hey, stop. Roll the window up. Stop. Hey, roll, you're not in charge here, Jeremy. Roll the window up. You understand. You are not in charge. Okay. I'll figure it out myself. Don't worry about it. Listen, yeah. listen. Go back about if you day. continue to mess with my stuff, right, I'm going to pull you out of this car and you will sit on, this, on the side of this road until a cage car comes. Do you understand? This is the last time I'm going to tell I, I you to knock it off. I just want you to roll hey, the window up. Hey, look at me right I'm now. I'm trying to be cooperative with you. Okay. So do what we say. Okay, can you roll the window up? That's no. how it is. No, I will not, go? because I'm going to watch you, because you keep messing with our stuff after we've repeatedly told you not to. Do you understand? Okay, but what is... The window is see-through. It's not tenant. Get your... Put your foot... I just want you to roll the window a, up. I don't care. Get a, get I just ankles. put your look, feet... Look, I'm trying to be cooperative with you. We'll get his ankles, okay? I'm going to get plastic cuffs. Look. Listen. Look. No, look. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be cooperative with you. I, I just asked you simply to roll the window up. I'm not going and, to. No, you said you have to reach. You said you have to watch me. How am I reaching for your stuff in my hands? I just saw you. You just pulled the cord out. Okay. I didn't pull the cord out. I'm trying to let the window up. That's it. I'm, let, I'm just gonna let the window up with my team. Yeah, because we already got everybody taken care of the rest of the stuff. You guys can go ahead and go ahead with the business. Hey. Uh, you don't have to sit there and get smart. Let's do Laporte County Hospital because we can. Turn around. I simply just asked hey, you to roll around. the window up. You said you have to watch me. Turn around. The window is see-through. It's not yeah. tenant. Yeah. It's not tenant. You want somebody to be cooperative with you, you have to build a report. At no point in time will somebody that's in our custody and under arrest that was driving a stolen vehicle call any shots. That's not going to happen. At this time, the cop was taking the suspect to the hospital for a checkup. And while they were driving, they discussed the incident. Well, it's either roll the window up or I'm going to let it up with my teeth. Make a decision. It wouldn't hurt. I'm not doing anything wrong. I just asked you to simply roll the window up. No, we haven't. Are you cold? Yes. I asked you to roll. The TV's turning the heat on. He does. Okay, that's. But that's that. It, it, there's a way to ask. I said you don't, you don't dictate. I, I, I was fine before he rolled the window down. He said he had to watch me. Yeah, because there's a glare out here from all the lights. Like when I was standing right there, I couldn't see that you had moved your hands to your front, and I was standing right there by the car because there's a glare on the window. Yeah, and then yeah, just attach those. So it's not as simple yeah, as, you, as you're looking at it. Hospital, yeah, so that's why he wrote the window down, so you can clearly yeah, see. So we're gonna go. We're gonna hit. It makes the, sense. Uh, so we're taking the report hospital. There you go. I'm do a blood draw one. Um, as far as you're not getting my blood. I'm gonna I, I don't need details. Well, there you go. Stop.
I'm not doing it. I can see you reaching I for the know. release. I don't know what. Stop. I'm not doing it. You understand me? I am not doing it. I saying, can see your finger on the release. I don't, I don't know what you're talking Stop about. Stop moving around. Stop messing around. I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting here minding my business. I'm just getting in a comfortable position. My hands are zip tied. What the can I do? Oh, exactly. Now you sound stupid. Now you sound stupid. You over there looking stupid. There's nothing I can do. My hands are, are zip tied. Are you, are to you giving the troop lip service? Huh? Are you giving this troop a lot of lip service right now? I'm not doing anything. Start yelling at me. And I no, no, because you're moving around. I'm not so doing it. So let me let me let me explain something to you. So in two no, in 1998, when our troops had a guy like you, I remember the scene. I remember it very good. Okay, and we had a guy like you. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing this, that, and the other. Then next thing you know, he's riding down 65, and the guy pulls a little two 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 point dagger out on him, pointing it at him. Okay, so we don't play those games. Because you don't know us and we don't know you. And okay, so I'm not doing I'm side. not doing anything though. You were moving around. I'm not. You're not Man, I saw, I'm not. I saw your no. fingers on the release. You're trying Dude. to unbuckle your seatbelt. Knock it what off. What do I need my seatbelt unbuckled for? I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here You're minding the one my for it. This is what I'm going to tell you. I just moved Hear my hands clearly. to the side. Hear me clearly. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you. We're going to head back. We're going to go back. We're, we're going to take the hospital, right? If we have to pull over to readjust anything that you've taken off of you, we're going to hog tie you. I'm not doing anything. You don't anything. want that. I'm telling you. You don't want that. Whatever. So, be a cooperative. You, you know what hog tag is? Yes, I know exactly okay. what it is. So, you don't want that. So, please cooperate with my troops, all right? You know what case I'm hey, fighting right now? What? You know what type oh. of case I'm fighting right now? I beat police officers, so you beat quick cooperative. What do you mean? I don't know. You mean like like in the courtroom beat them or like physically beat them? That's fine. I just need to pull up the line. I told you you might be a Anybody ever told you you like Toro 21330 in route to the port hospital. I wonder how your mom feels when she raised That's why you became a cop? You got bullied in high school? You think you're tough because you can yell at people? Is that so? Why you got your fist balled up? I don't think that's balled up, partner. Is that silence is your best friend? It's fine. I'll just add the charge. Huh? I'll just add the charge, man. It's okay. You want to mess up my car? Dude, did you run my name? You should run my name. You should definitely run my name and see what type of case I'm playing. You should run my name and see what type of case I'm playing. What's your name, partner? Jeremy Malcolm Evans. You should run my name and find out what type of case I'm playing. All right, go ahead and spell your last name for me. E V A N S. Run it and find out what type of case I'm playing. And then you'll know who I'm dealing with. Well, I need to know what state I'm running this through. Illinois, 703 West Liberty Drive. Man, I don't know what kind of. But I, I'm not seeing anything but a revoked license. Because I'm on bond for it right now. I'm see if I can. Okay. No, I'm not seeing anything, so. Look up the arrest from Elmhurst Police Department. No, that's alright, man. I can do that later. Matter of fact, I'll give you my social. There you go. Run an NCIC check. But I suggest you stop yelling at me. What's that? I suggest you stop yelling at me. What about charges? What are your charges? Huh? What are your charges? Yeah. Well, so far, there was... Say that again? I said, so far, so far, there's marijuana in the vehicle. Uh, you have resisting with a vehicle, which is felony charge. Um, driving without a license. I mean, there's there's a lot. So, you said you're on probation? I'm not on probation. Okay, so I'm you're on you're on bond? So, if you get trouble when you're on bond... Do they recall you back? No? No. Okay. Alright. Well, we're taking you out, Cart. When we get there, you'll be able to talk to the jail staff. They'll give you an idea of uh, what your bond is. Huh? I said, we're going to Elkhart. When we get there, you'll be able to talk to the jail staff. They will have a list as well as a monetary value for your bond. I do not work at the Elkhart County Jail, so I do not know what your bond is. I need a hospital, too. Oh, I know. That's where we're headed right now. 
if I had to made it back to where I was going, mm -hmm. back home, so that's what it turned out. We would have? I was gonna make it. Oh, were you? I had 140 miles to go to my destination. 140 and miles on one tire? And 240 to get. I was gonna make it. Who asked for phone? Wait, you were gonna make it? I was gonna make it. Okay, so what happened? I hit a spike strip. Oh, right. That's what happened. I, do I dodged them pretty well. Did you? Indeed, I did. Because I dodged like six of them. Yeah, but you also hit six of them. Huh? Off the top of my head. It was yeah, six. you hit four of them. Huh? Five of them? You hit five of them? Yeah, you hit five of them. So you dodged six, but you still hit five, and it really only counts because if you'd have hit one, you still would have had the flat tire and it stopped you. Well, it's, it's a difference. Once my tire is flat, I didn't care about spike strips. So what happened when they weren't flat? Huh? Well, you said you didn't care about hitting them once they were flat. What happened before they were flat? Did you stop caring then, or did you just hit them anyways? I don't know. Oh, okay. When they said the left tire was at zero tire pressure, that's what I stopped doing. But until then, I, I was betting that pretty good. You know, my tires were at like this was. Hey, what were you throwing out of the vehicle, though? Huh? What were you throwing out of the vehicle? I was throwing anything out of the vehicle. Oh, okay. My window was up the whole time. Oh, okay. Things were flying from the vehicle. Oh, okay. So what was flying from the vehicle? Huh? What was flying from the vehicle? I don't know. Whatever was snapping. Okay. Is it illegal in this state? It is. It is. Do you have any prior convictions? Huh? Have you ever been arrested for possession? No. Any kind of possession? No. No, never? Okay. Well, then it's be misdemeanor. It's have you been, even, have you been? It's not even enough to charge. If you've ever been convicted of uh, possession of any kind of before, then it makes it an A misdemeanor. If you've been convicted prior, have more than 30 grams, then it's a felony. Yeah. Delivery driver. Oh, okay. What do you deliver? Work for myself. Uh, well, you said you were a delivery driver, so yeah. you must have things that you deliver. What do you deliver? I own a shipping company. You ship what? I own a shipping company. Okay. And what do you ship? If it fits in the van, you're a will. If it fits in the van. We're in luck. So next time this happens, if I just ask you to ship yourself to the jail, huh? does that work? No. Well, why not? You, you said if it fits in the if it, you got to pay. If it fits in the van, well, I mean, you're gonna owe the I state mean, it's anyways. Not free. You still gotta pay for the tolls, the guys. Well, I mean, you're gonna owe the state anyways, so you know that wouldn't that like kind of even out. Did you say what? You said you're gonna owe the state anyways, right? Like when they when you go to pay your bond, that's what you're paying, right? You, you're paying the you're paying the county Say that, that you're bonding out of. I didn't hear what you said. So when you pay bond to get out, that money goes back to the county, right? So uh, kind of evens out. I'm sure you probably don't charge as much as what they're gonna ch charge you for bond. Additionally, the suspect was causing problems at the hospital. So, here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to turn the TV on for you, okay? But because of whatever happened before I got here, you got to go in, in restraints. <laughs> so, I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to turn the TV on for you, okay? We're going to put you in four-way restraints, and then everyone's, we're going to go our separate ways for the night. Well, you You're, not gonna see, You're not going to see no more me, and I'm not going to see no more you. Is that cool? I'm gonna take that coat off. How about that? Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna work with the handcuffs here first. Okay, so we're gonna get your feet up here. So get your feet up here, buddy. There you go. We're going to come in with the restraints. We're going to do that. Where's your real Hey, restraints. And we'll get that, that TV hooked up. And we'll turn on Discovery Channel or something. Okay. You have to lay back. You have to lay back. You have to lay back. Don't, look, don't be getting crazy. Yep. Lay back. Lay back. Lay back. Lay back. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Relax. I still want to see a sergeant. He tried to swing on. Right here. I'm right here. What you need? He tried to swing on. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna note that. I'm gonna note it all. They gotta give you. They got They got These folks here are trying to take care of you. Right. They're trying to give you some kind of medical care. Make sure you have no heart attack or whatever. Other people in here trying to sleep. You can't be acting all crazy, man. These people are trying to get rest here. They're, they're sick people in here, man. He started. He should have left me sleep. Oh, he woke me up because he goes, 
But you keep saying that you started this stuff. We didn't get that right. No, I, I did not start it. Yeah, I, I know, did not start it. You're, you're, you're going to be the bigger person tonight, and that's how we're going to do it. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Uh, you got a heart heart condition? Yeah. What kind of heart condition you got, buddy? I got an enlarged heart. Enlarged heart? I mean, you draw your blood, get all your medicine. You got to let them do that. Don't get anything on. All crazy. You like uh, Comedy Central? Yeah. Right there. Is that good? I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Though. All of this could have been avoided if you had to hang in a snest. I, I, I get it, I get it. But this, is how, right. this is how it's rolling right now. To summarize everything, 26-year-old Jeremy Evans was charged with resisting law enforcement and two counts of battery against a public safety official. In spite of his best efforts, he was unable to escape the police. On the other hand, this next individual will be a fake cop who claims to be employed with the National Weather Service. It all began when the cops pulled over a guy who was impersonating a police officer. When the suspect questioned the reason for the stop, the cops said that he was switching lanes and flashing his lights. In addition, the suspect revealed to the cops that he was employed by the National Weather Service when the cops noted that his vehicle resembled that of a police officer. Hello, uh, Officer Brock, Oklahoma City. License insurance, please. Uh, what's the reason for the stop? So back there, when you change lanes, you change signals after you're changing lanes. You have to signal 100 feet prior to changing lanes. I didn't know that. Yep, that's how you change lanes properly. Oh. License and insurance, please. <laughs> Is this like some type of old police car or? No, I'm, I work at the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service. So what, why do you have your lights on? <laughs> oh, I was just, I had them on early and I forgot to turn them off. Okay. You can drive with them. So I used to it. There. Here's that. Like, the registration. Yeah, insurance. I don't need the registration, just the insurance, Okay, please. cool. No problem. So this one's expired. You have an updated one. Uh, wait a second. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you knocked on the window. Okay. No problem. Sorry. You dropped out a while back. Up. So are you working right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just on the highway. I was taking some video for him. Okay. I got my, tri my tricorder right here. Tricorder, tripod. How are y'all tonight? Cold. Cold. Yeah, I, I got a little bit of frostbite on my toes from earlier this morning when I was out. It was bad. Yeah, it's not getting any warmer. No. Supposed to be just bad. Do you want to just give me your license and then you can keep looking for the insurance? Hey, you are, man. Okay. All right. At this stage, the cops made the decision to place the suspect under arrest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and have you step out, okay? Why? Well, because I told you to. Can you put those down? Do you have any weapons or anything on you, like anything I need to know about? Am I being arrested? Uh, well, we'll discuss that here in a minute. Okay, can you unlock the door, please? Do you have any weapons on you? No, why am I being no, arrested? No weapons, no firearms, nothing like that? No, ma'am. Okay, go ahead and step out for me. Why? Face away from me. Face away from me, okay? Put your hands behind your back for me. Can you interlace your fingers like you're praying? Interlace them. Like put your fingers together. Why am I being arrested? We'll explain all that here in just a minute, okay? Okay. So before we go. These are all his lights. Oh, he does have red and blues in the front. He told me he didn't. What does it look like from... Oh, we should have taken a video of that for her. What? Oh, what is this? A wannabe police officer? The cops discovered many things in the vehicle that provided evidence that the suspect was pretending to be a police officer. Also, the cops confronted the suspect with the charges against him. There's one up front with a pepper gun in it. A paper gun? Pepper, pepper gun. Pepper gun. You talking about like OC? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there's two police belts. Two police belts. It's, it's a leg two vests that has a pepper gun in it. Okay, pepper gun in it and two ballistics vests. 
Yeah, okay. I so, need to get the other vest, so. I already. Are these actually, are these actually ballistic vests? Mm, I think this one is, probably, it probably doesn't have real doesn't Kevlar have in, it. in it. A real Kevlar, probably. It's fake. There's no... Okay. Okay, here's... That's hers, and then we can go through everything else. Okay. So ah. so here's the issue that that we have, okay? Yes, ma'am. You're driving a vehicle that, that says police interceptor on the back. You have a spotlight. You have antennas. You have red and blue lights like we do. It's Only true. police officers should have those, okay? You don't work for the National Weather Service. Okay, I do and work an for the officer, National Weather Service. An officer didn't give you those things to put on your car. Yes, so he did. So you're being arrested for impersonating a police officer, okay? Do you understand that? No, I you don't. Cannot, you cannot have a vehicle that looks like ours, that has lights like we do. You also have a sweater in your front seat with a badge, and you, you have yet to provide us any type of credentials. I can provide credentials. We already asked you for those. No, you she don't. asked me if I had an ID for a Lincoln County. So what on. credentials can you provide us? Uh, my cert credentials. For what? Community Emergency Response Team. So where is it? It's on my phone. It's on your phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, my lieutenant is checking with the sheriff's office to see if you do, in fact, work for their emergency management team. Okay. But the sheriff's office. Aside from that, you have all these other things on your car that you can't have. Okay? Um, but I can have the ones in the rear. No, I can prove can't. it to you. How, how can you prove it to me? I can show you the state law. Well, I can show you the state statute too that says that you cannot have that stuff on your car. But okay? I can't. I can't. Anything, that, anything that alludes to that vehicle being a police car, like i.e. the police interceptor sticker, you cannot have, which it's you the do. The combination it's of the combination of the lights, the police interceptor sticker, all of those things. Well, okay? can I see your supervisor? As a conclusion, to clarify, Manuel Nava was charged with impersonating a police officer. If convicted, he will receive a maximum sentence of two years. Despite his efforts to convince the cops of his lies, the cops were eventually able to discover the truth. On the other hand, this next individual will be caught in possession of a significant quantity of illicit substances. It all starts with the cops who noticed a car that was parked on the wrong side of the road. Despite the fact that the car collided with a fence next to a parking lot, Miss Crumream, who was the only passenger and driver, stayed inside. The driver also had a bloody nose. Um, we found her parked up in the car. She says she owns the bar. Okay. I'm not sure how far she actually made it. I'm just her by herself, so okay. I'll let you guys handle it how you see fit. But all right, sounds good. Is she is she injured? Or um, I, she's got like a bloody nose. Okay. I know. If you want to be a medical emergency? I think they're en route. Yeah, no, we're we're good. And You're so, good? like I said, we're good. What happened to your nose? Well, we have, we're, have, we have EMS come out for you to I check you out. EMS. Well, your nose is a little blue. You just make sure that you're. I'm good. You're not. I'm good. Where are you, where are you coming from? What's your name, ma'am? Michelle. Michelle. What's your last name? No. Huh? No. To your car. Is it your car, Michelle? Is it my car? Is it your car? Yeah. Okay, it's registered to you. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, they're they're coming here to. It was at this moment when the medical personnel came to check on the driver. On the other hand, the driver was not cooperative. Can you unlock the car for me? Hello. How are you doing? Hey. So, she has a, a bloody nose. I'm not completely sure what's going on. Just Hi, dear. What's... What happened? Huh? Are you hurt at all? No. No? What happened to your nose? You ain't got a bloody nose there. No. You remember hit whatever you did here? I know. You been drinking at all? No. No? How'd you get up here? Well, let us check you out first, and then we'll figure out that... What'd you say? You want... I'm sorry. Are you able to step out here? Yes. Yeah, come on out. We'll figure out what's going on here. No drinking at all, right? Oh, I've been drinking. 
Uh, hit or miss. Why? Hard shit. Do you want to step out of the car, Michelle? No. No? I don't think you're going to get anywhere in this car, though. I'm not going nowhere. We know, but we got to get you out of the car so they can get the car out of this spot. Do you want to go to the hospital? Do you want us to check you out? Okay. Did you hit your head? You have like a bloody nose and I stuff. Know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, How much have you had to drink tonight? Michelle, how much did you drink tonight? Too much. How much is too much? Too much. Okay. But I'm here. Yeah. I'm part. You're I'm not safe. You're not really part. You're not wrong. So you don't want to go to the hospital? All right, you don't want checked out at all? No. All right. No. We'll leave this with you guys. The cops ordered the driver to exit the vehicle, but the driver did not comply with their requests, which resulted in the driver being taken into custody. All right, Michelle, I'm going to have you come out. I'm going to call my daughter. Hey, Michelle, we'll, we'll let you make a phone call, all right? Yes, my daughter will come get me. You, no, you need to get out of the car right now. Oh. Michelle? Michelle. Michelle, get out of the car. Come on. Michelle. No. All right, let's get her out. Come on. No, no, no. We're going to have you come off. I'm going to help you out. No, I want come my on. daughter to come get me. That's it. Right come now, on. I want my daughter to come get me. Come. Stop come it. Come on. Get out of the car, Michelle. I'm all right. I'm all right. Look at, my keys are gone. Come on. My keys are gone. Your keys? You don't need your keys. Come on. Michelle, you need to get no, out of the car. No, I'm not getting out of the car. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. Come put your hands behind your back. Oh, my God. Place the car. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, my God. What the f are you doing? It's very unnecessary. You know that, right? Stop trying to pull your hands apart. It's very unnecessary. I just want to go home. Well, unfortunately, that's not how this works. Over to our no. Do you have anything else? That's no, no, right no, anyway? no, 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 no. Okay. So, stay away. So my daughter come get me. Yes, she will. There is nothing. Now, the cops searched the suspect. All right, spread your feet for me, please. What? Can you spread your feet for me, please? Do you guys call stands for us? Do what? Do you guys call stands? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I hurt my hands. What's that? I don't have Spread your feet. A white substance was found in the car, and the cops approached the suspect about it. However, the suspect pretended to be clueless. There's a white powder in those dollar bills that were in your pocket, and then my partner found more white powder in your car in a plastic bag. All right? What? I haven't tested it yet. Do you know what it is? No. Is it cocaine? I don't know. You don't know? I have no idea. Okay. So. It's not mine. It's not yours. Stormo, where is the bag at? Okay. So no, it's, it's not mine. I mean. It was in your purse. Oh God. So. 
I have to test it, so it, you have nothing to tell me about it? Nope. Right. Do you think it's fentanyl? No, I hope not. I mean... Fair enough. Me too. Um, have you been, ever been arrested for drugs before? No. Have you ever been arrested for OBI before? I have a DUI once. One, one prior? Okay. Were you convicted? I mean, I had a DUI. Okay. Alright. That was about three years ago. Three years ago. Okay. Well, give us a little bit of time. Right now you are I'm under arrest. Sorry. So, no. I, I know you do, but unfortunately this is this is where we're at. Okay. Um, so give us a few minutes. We gotta sort a few things out and I we'll you. get back to you. I got you. Your head okay? Um, my head's okay. To put it all together, the driver was booked into the Summit County Jail on the following charges. Possession of drugs, obstructing official business, and driving while under the influence of alcohol or drugs. She attempted to seem as if she had no knowledge of anything, but the cops eventually discovered that she was in possession of narcotics. On the other hand, this next individual will conceal more than $300,000 in his vehicle. It all begins with the cop who pulled over a 2018 Nissan Rogue for a traffic check. The only people inside the car were Mr. Kim, who was driving, and Yun Young Kim, Mr. Kim's spouse. During the investigating, the cops discovered that the car was reserved for a one-way rental. Furthermore, the driver said that they were taking a trip to Las Vegas after 20 years of marriage. Hey, good morning. How are y'all? Yes, I'm good. I'm Trooper May with the state police. Man, when you went past me back there, you over across the white line a few times. You doing okay? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> you not falling asleep or anything? No. No drinking and driving? I just drink some coffee. Hey, you and me both, all right? You got your driver's license? Yes, sir. Thanks, brother. Sorry, sir. That's okay. I apologize. All right. Is this your car? This is a rental car, sir. Okay. Do they give you some paperwork for that? The rental agreement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Hey, Mr. Kim, just come back here to my car with me and I'll run your license, okay? So come on back here. Slide that passenger seat, okay? Yes, Thanks, brother. Yes, oh, I'm gonna get my breakfast out of the way. Sorry. That's okay. Y'all doing okay this morning? Yeah. Good deal. Where are you going? I'm going to Vegas, sir. Vegas? Yeah. Right on, dude. Yes, sir. How long are you going to be out there? Uh, I wish I could stay there for a couple of days. Probably going to be there for like maybe two days. But I wanted to stay there for a week. I don't know. My wife is not. Yeah. Cool. I want to gamble. But she doesn't want to? It's not even a gamble. It's just going to be a little stop machine. I'm just going to meet up friends. We're just going to have dinner and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Cool, man. We only have like a couple hundred bucks. It's not like we have a lot of money. Right. Where are y'all staying at? I'm going to try to stay at, um, what is that? Little Caesar, no, Aria, 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 Aria. yeah, okay. I'll say Little Caesars, but uh, I couldn't get a room there. Uh, okay. And you rented the car? Yes, sir. Yesterday, okay. Yes. And are you gonna leave it in Vegas? Yes. Okay. How are you gonna get home? Plane. Plane? Oh, okay. Yes. Why didn't you fly to Vegas? She wants to see the sightseeing. I brought my camera. We're gonna go to uh, the deserts and take some pictures on the little. Oh. It's all right, I got a 21. Okay. Cool, man. <laughs> Good. Cool, cool. Yes, sir, can I get to check on that? It's our little honeymoon. Do what now? It's going to be a little honeymoon surprise for her, but... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but I didn't How long y'all been married? Forever? 20 years? 20 years, probably. Oh, okay. Kids are 17, 17, 18. 16 years long. Okay. It's so a late honeymoon, huh? Never had a vacation. Oh, yeah. I got you. Where's Duluth, Georgia? In What's that? Gwinnett County. Okay. What's that near? Um, what do you mean? Monuments? No, like is it is it close to Atlanta or I don't know or anything about Georgia? About 30 minutes from Atlanta. Downtown. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. I guess I'm going to take it. Oh man, I don't plan on writing you a ticket. I just want you to be Sorry. safe, okay? Yes, sir. Hey, in the vehicle, do y'all have any weapons with you? Not at all. Okay. No, no. Okay. Well, it's, I don't mind people having guns, and that's all legal and everything. I just no, like to know about it, okay? Family. We don't care. No okay. Well, 
Well, you can be a Christian and carry a gun. I had a BB gun when I was little. I'm a Christian <laughs> and I have guns. Yeah, but <laughs> I had a BB gun one time when we were little. Yeah, okay. Um, anything illegal at all in the car? Not as well. Okay, everything in there belonged to you and your yes, wife? Yes, okay, does she have an ID? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll be right back, okay, yes, brother? Sir. Thanks, I'm gonna go get her ID. Since something didn't feel quite right, the cop conducted a detailed investigation into the driver, Mr. Kim, and his spouse. Thank you. Where are y'all going? To where? Las Vegas. That sounds fun. Awesome. How long are you going to be there? Um, a week. Nice. Go do some, some gambling, play the slot machines and stuff. <laughs> okay. Are y'all going to drive this thing home? Are you going to fly home? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe yeah. Fly. Okay. And this is your husband? Yes. Okay. Hey, do y'all have any guns or anything? No. no okay. I, it's okay. I'd just like to know if somebody has a, a gun in the car or no. stuff. Okay. Nothing illegal at all in the car? No. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be right back, okay? Make sure nobody's a murderer. You're not a murderer, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Mr. Kim, I appreciate your patience with me, okay? No problem. Um, oh, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks. Computer. I think I have a pretty cool job, too. <laughs> um, man, I, be, I appreciate you being honest with me, telling me there's no is guns it, or anything illegal no, on the no, car. No. Would it be okay with you if I search the car? I don't want to search my car. Do I now? I don't want you to search my car. You don't want me to search my, your car? Okay. Well, hold on just a second. I'm going to see my partner has a canine yes, around. Yes, we'll come up here and run the dog on the car, okay? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to go with them. I'm sorry? I don't know why. Do what now? You don't know why what? No, why I'm not I'm getting get, not pulled over. Well, I told you why you got pulled over and you told me you sneezed and realized and that you did run off the road. So that makes good sense. That's why I pulled you over. 74 to 71. Go ahead. Hey, can you bring Raptor over here? 176 West, please. Table, I think. My partner's gonna bring his dog over here. Yes, okay, he's on his way right now. And uh, we'll run the dog around the car. Yes, if the dog alerts, we're gonna have probable cause to search the car. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Um, if he doesn't, then we'll send you down the road. All right? That's fine, I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, that, I'm, that's, that's what's gonna happen, <laughs> is what I'm yeah, telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. When was the last time you smoked marijuana? Never. Never? Never. You were charged with possession of marijuana in 2014? Yeah, I know. That's a long story. It's to okay. a friend. Okay. in the car. Okay. The cop said, this is my car, so he, I got the charge for it. Oh, okay. It's not even like that, but... Okay. No problem. I didn't smoke marijuana. Okay. So there's no reason a dog alert to no sir to anything in that car, right? No sir. Okay, so if it does, besides my dirty smelly socks, but <laughs> well, a dog don't care about dirty smelly socks. Yes, sir. Uh, he, that dog. I, I'm not a canine handler, but from what yes, the canine sir. handlers have explained to me, yes, sir. is that dog. The dog doesn't. Dog's got a good nose. It's That's incredible. Like, it's incredible. We can't even fathom. We don't even no. know how good it is. No, like my but, dog, they do go through their snacks. I hike. Right. They find their snacks and eat it all. But here's what I'm saying: is the dog only understands? The dog thinks he's looking for a tennis ball that smells like drugs. <laughs> yes, sir. That's his reward. He doesn't know drugs are bad. He doesn't know. He just knows when he smells certain things. Yes, sir. He's supposed to sit down and say, "I smell it," and he gets a toy. Uh, yeah, that, of course. That's it. You know? Like my dog, tell us, right. hey, we'll give him a little piece. Exactly, just like your dog. Understood. Yep. So. At this point, the cop began to inquire about the driver's life and a variety of other topics. We haven't decided if we're going to stay for two days or three days, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. And the surprise, my friends might be there. I gave her a surprise, but... Okay, some friends may be meeting y'all out there? No, they're, they're meeting me out there. We're oh, okay. A surprise for my wife, but... Oh, okay. Is it her birthday or something? No, it's a little anniversary kind of thing. Anniversary? I've been yeah. arguing with her for the last couple of months. And I'm trying to get, you know, the good part of her. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm trying to smooth things over a little bit with a trip to Vegas. Yeah. Man, that seems crazy to 
not have plane? That's going to be expensive. No, actually Buy not. plane tickets at the last I minute? I think she already bought plane tickets or she did something. Or my friends already arranged it. I have no idea, but oh, okay. I don't even worry about going home. Okay. <laughs> All right. Plane tickets are expensive. Well, you must have more money than me because I think plane tickets are expensive. No, they get a discount. I get the um, Expedia. Right. It comes out like 280 or 230. Man, that's expensive. Usually it costs more. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it, I guess that's why I just stay here. <laughs> well, we're almost 45 years old. Yeah. No. Okay. We've been working all our lives. I understand. I've been working my whole life too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you do for work? I'm an optician. A what? Optician. Optician. What's that? Uh, I make eyeglasses. Oh, okay, cool. I'm a technician that makes glasses. Nice. So the doctor does the exam. Right. We do the eye, make the lenses to put into the eye okay. frames and stuff like that. I got you. Prescriptions and stuff like that. Yeah. Cool, man. How long have you been doing that? Oh, 16 years. Yeah? Yes, sir. You work for a specific doctor or you just work for like lens crafters or something? Uh, I work for a doctor. I work yeah. for a doctor and my, my brother, my parents own an optical store. Oh, cool, man. Yes, sir. Your brother's a, and so your brother's an eye doctor? Yes, sir. Cool. What's your wife do? A uh, housewife. Yeah, <laughs> mine too. <laughs> I think it costs less for it to go get a job. Yeah. Start adding in daycare for the kids. You gotta buy another car. That's right. Things like that. Yeah. Where's your car? At home. Yeah? You didn't want to take it? Nah, I put too much miles in the car. Nah, I hear you. I don't think my car will make it. <laughs> hey, uh, what type of car you got? I have an old Infinity. Yeah. And it's like falling apart. Nah, okay. I know, I just had to get a new truck. Man, my truck was falling apart. The transmission's probably going out. Uh oh. Gears not working very well. Yeah. When did y'all leave Georgia? Not too long ago. Well, I know it wasn't I mean, too long. Like what? What hour? Like what time of day? Probably around like twelve-ish, eleven or midnight mm -hmm. last night. Okay. We just had a do all that shopping and stuff and came home late. Just you had what now? I'm sorry. No, I mean, we've had to buy shopping for the kids, for food and stuff. And you got kids? Yes, sir. How many? I have two kids. Two kids? 16, 17. Oh, okay. And they're We're hanging out at the house? Yes, sir. They're working or they school? School. Yeah, they got school, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, aside from that, uh. Yes, sir. That one marijuana charge or whatever, have you ever been arrested? No, sir. No? No, sir. Did they take you to jail on that marijuana charge? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, how much uh, yes, sir. How much marijuana was it? It was a little, half a little roach of a joint, like that small. Yeah. And then it was under the seat. The guy found it. Mm-hmm. And it must be one of those people that was a friend of mine. I know, I know it was. A friend of yours? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about your wife? She ever been in trouble? No, never. No? no sir. Oh, okay. No, sir. It was just a big mistake that one time. I got you. Yes, sir. I never, I don't even drink beer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I swear. Okay. Yeah, I had a big argument with that guy, too. With who? The friend that, well, was a friend. Mm-hmm. I told him not to smoke in my car. Right. This guy's trying to be funny. That was in Georgia. The cop asked the driver whether or not his wife had a criminal record. Wife doesn't have any criminal history, right? No, not at all. So, so what? It, this person is named Hoon Kim. Mm -hmm. Same birthday, different middle name. So it just oh. immediately pulls oh, oh, oh. that. Okay. Some close, close name. Close, yeah. In case somebody lied to me about their birthday or date oh. of birth or something like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. 
At this point, the cop had a conversation with the driver's wife, during which he informed her that he was suspicious of her husband's nervousness. Hey, I want to explain to you what's going on, okay? I'm pretty suspicious of your husband's nervousness and, and just kind of what's going on. I asked for consent to uh, search the car, and he told me I can't search the car, right? So my partner's bringing a dog over here, and we're going to run the dog around the car, all right? All right. Is there is there anything illegal in the car? No. Everything in here belong to y'all? Okay. All right. Well, like I told him, if the if the dog alerts, we have probable cause to search the car. We're going to search the car. But if the dog doesn't alert, we'll see you later, okay? All right. So just, I'm sorry for the delay. Just be patient with me, okay? All right. My partner's on his way. He'll be here in just a couple minutes, all right? All right. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Thank you. She cool now. <laughs> That's right. Yes, I do. Oh, I lost it. Can I put my wallet in the bucket? Sure. What's that tattoo? Um, oh, my friend wrote it. Your friend wrote it? What's yeah. it say? Only guy can, can judge, judge me. me. Yeah? I like it. <laughs> I got a couple tattoos. I got a couple. Sacrifice. Right yeah. What's Always your necklace? Necklace. What's your necklace? It's my car club. Your car club? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, me. I just didn't want to search my car because there's a gift in there. I don't want her to see. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? It's another ring. Another ring? Yeah, another ring and some clothes. I bought her. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's gonna be so embarrassing. It's gonna be embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but well, I don't care about the ring and clothes. Yes, I know, I know. You can have all the ring and clothes you want to. <laughs> Pay propose, propose, propose to her again. I'm sorry. Propose to her again. Propose to her again. Well, that's cool. So you said you're gonna take some pictures. Mm, I have my camera. Yeah. Yes, sir. Where at? Anything, anything that's interesting. Anything that's interesting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said, I thought you said something about a monument earlier. There is a monument. If you go to Vegas, the uh -huh. monument was just big old rocks put together. They painted different colors. Yeah. But the way, the, the way they take a picture there, the angle, mm -hmm. makes the angle look very nice. Oh, okay. The color name. But that's one thing. The Hoover Dam. Yep. Wanted everyone to go there. Okay. So your car club is that your is your infinity your your car for your car club? Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Was it like what type? Of, what it, I mean, like muscle cars or little sports cars or what? Everything's mixed, actually. Yeah. All mixed cars. Cool. Domestic imports. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just meet cool people. Yeah, just a group of folks to hang out with. Yeah. I got you. People, you have no idea. Yeah. They have that thing you said on making things a little different of the cars, mm -hmm. the style, and the color. Yeah. Things like that. Cool. I thought that would be more interesting. It's like the American nice. culture, you guys have like what hot rods and stuff. And what now? The American culture, you guys have the hot rods. Well, yeah. So I, I guess I'm not a car guy. So <laughs> it's not my hobby. I have a lot of friends that's into the hot rides, so yeah. we're all combining up and just something just to have a reason to hang out. Yeah. What nation? Where are you from? What nationality? Are you? Korean. Korean. Yes, okay. Korean. I guess South Korean, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Everyone asked me that question. Like, North Korea? I said they're communists. I don't think they come here. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, you wouldn't be sitting here. If, <laughs> yeah, they don't let you leave, do they? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. I think they have a whole new world out there. That's yeah. It's crazy, man. Um, were you born in Korea or you're here? Or? I was born in Korea. I came yeah? when I was three. When you were three? Wow, oh, cool. So you pretty much lived here your whole life, huh? Yeah, I did. Um, always in Georgia? Yeah, yeah, mostly in Georgia. Mostly. I gotcha. The K-9 unit was used by the police to search the vehicle. Um, they're driving to Vegas and then don't know if they're going to fly back, don't know when they're going to fly back, staying for a couple of days, may meet some friends, may not meet some friends. Have you ever been arrested? No, I've been arrested for weed. He's pretty super high. 
I'm gonna get wife. I'm gonna get wife out. Hey, man, hey, my buddy's gonna run a dog around the car, so I'll have you walk up here with me, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Let's go up this way. Let's go up here. Miss Kim, come up here. We'll stay up here out of the way, okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't want the dog to think you're a bad guy. Okay. <laughs> That's what we call an alert. Oh, is it? You see how that dog won't leave? Uh oh. Alright, come on down here. to the car. Did you see it? That's what we call an alert. Yes, How that dog's locked up and the handler's trying to pull on the leash and the dog won't leave. All right, so we're like I explained to you, we're going to conduct a probable cause of the car. Okay? I don't even know why they got to do that. Do what now? I don't even know why you thought to do that. Okay. All right, well, hang tight right here, okay? Yes, sir. All right. What did he say? He said, I don't know why your dog did that. Huh. Miss Kim, stay up here, okay? We'll find out. Yeah. on it? Yeah. Well, that's money. <laughs> Miss Kim, come here. <laughs> Stay right here. Yeah. That's money. I feel it. That's all Chill. money. Yep. Told you. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> Sorry. Put your hands behind your back, okay? Okay. 74 Little Rock, 1015, two times. Put that down. Yep. 7.30. Come here. You stay right there. Come here. 8.46. Turn around. 7.46. The cops proceeded to read the Miranda rights to the couple and had them answer a few questions about the bag of money. We've been having good conversations. Yes, sir. Do you have the right to remain silent? Anything said can be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. Can't afford an attorney. Stay to provide one for you. Can All I right. Kiss my wife. Do what now? Can I kiss my wife. Can you kiss your wife? Well, I'm not going to execute you on the side of the road. Calm down. I'm sorry. Okay. Listen to me. Yes, we don't we don't do first dates on the side of the road. All right. Yes, Our safety's paramount. All right. You can kiss your wife in my office. All right. Whose money is that? My money, sir. Your money? Yes, sir. It's your money? You're claiming that money? No, How much money, money is it? I have no idea. You don't have any idea? No. Oh, you're just going to Vegas to drop it off, huh? I have no idea. Probably, oh, I have, I should be honest with you, I just got that bag to dig one. I'm just delivering so it. it. So the bag doesn't belong to you? I, I, this is my possession, that's why I say it's mine, but it's not right. mine. No, I mean, but I don't make that. It's in your yes, possession sir. doesn't mean it belongs to you. Yes, sir. Right. We'll talk about all this in a little while. Have a seat right here. Yeah. Oh, here. My Put her, you sit back that's here. Mine. Yes, sir. We're going to the same place. We're not going to... Hey, Mark, lock her. I haven't locked her, cuz. The driver disclosed that he was the one who was delivering the money and that he was only compensated $500 for this transfer. Right, sir. Large amount of U.S. currency. The guy told me it was like $10,000. No, no, it's way more, way more than that. Yeah, oh yeah. Too good to be true, huh? Too good to be true. Easy money's the hardest one to make, brother. You're getting paid what? 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Yeah, we're gonna get that for the hundred. Boy. Yeah, you got <laughs> Yep, yep. 
You got your thing. But it's all good. Huh? It's not drugs though, right? It's not drugs. It's US currency. Which can be pretty bad too. Which can be pretty bad too. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yes, sir. Hey, I got a money load. Yay! So, I was just letting you know. You need anything? Nope. Mark's here. We're good. Awesome. Good job, dude. All right. We'll see. You. <laughs> Gotta let a supervisor know when you're dealing with a large amount of money. You know. He did. Uh, uh I was taking pictures. When I went him right around the second time. He alerted on that side, it sat out there, and I'm like, hey, dude, I really want to give you your ball, but I'm not giving you your ball next to this trap. We got to get out of the road. Uh, I'm going to get a picture of her. Yeah, I can just see him going after it and dragging me out there and killing the boat. That'd be a, that'd be a really bad deal. I'm okay. Just shy of 250. If I give it that much, huh? You don't think so? I don't know. I'm, I'm always, I'm always. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Dude, that well, that's silliness in my office. <laughs> yeah, I told you I was coming back with vengeance. Yep. Probably. 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 Uh, Adam, Mary, Adam, Frank. <laughs> on road rental. Yeah. Uh, Duluth, Georgia going to Vegas. Yep. Uh, probably closer to two or more. There's a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah. vacuum sealed, bundled up, all is a suitcase and then locked duffel bags inside the suitcase. So, uh, these folks are out of Georgia, they're going to Vegas. So, yeah. uh, Rich is here. I'll holler at you in a little bit. Do I now? I don't know, I haven't got there yet. I don't know. What do you think? In summary, after the follow-up investigation, the Arkansas State Police seized the defendant's currency. Shortly after, the Drug Enforcement Agency adopted the case and conducted an administrative forfeiture proceeding.